You haven't insulted me once yet today. And you actually crossed the crosswalk. Did Jeff not bring you your coffee today? Uh, let's just say I rolled out of bed on the right side. It's amazing how much more you can see with fresh eyes. So, anything else you aren't telling me? Oh, oh. Let's look for it. Uh, you just never looked at me that way before. There's a story calling. We have come to help you. Me. Me. It's look at my ex and me. He. And me. He look at my ex. Technically, it still is a standoff. All right, Lane, the squares is up before Friday night's poker game. And by the way, I've been working on my bluff, okay? Right. Keep up the good work there, tough guy. <laughs> so what's the deal with our Sophoclean town crier up there? Yeah, well, here's the situation. Nut job up there on the fire escape. He owns Yuri's Antiques over on Main Street. He's been babbling in Latin all day. I'll see you on Friday. Woman, magic, cursed tongue. Book brings death. Since when did you speak Latin? Zatanna! Zatanna! Zatanna. Clark! I bet it is that same witchy woman who did this to me. Now, I know where she's performing tonight. Maybe you can super speed over to this antique shop and dust off any leads. Super speed? We didn't even bring a car. What? It's okay. I'm Chloe. Stood her up at formal, Chloe. Planted one on you because Zod was ending the world, Chloe. Krypton, Jor-El, Fortress, Brainiac, Chloe. Chloe. Bingo. And just like that Raven wardrobe malfunction over there, some magician showed up at my birthday party in fishnets and hexed me. But you'd know that if you hadn't skipped it to answer voicemails from Lois. Not that I'm dwelling. Not exactly hiding out, is she? You just woke up like this? How did I not pick up on it sooner? Forget about it. This is my Shakespearean nightmare. Not yours. Although it has been awfully illuminating. Listen, what I said about Jimmy. You're an equal opportunity good guy. I get it. I guess I'm just not used to seeing you from this perspective. By the way, Tales of the Weird and Unexplained. Nice callback. I thought it might bring you back to a time when, you know, things were... Weird and unexplained? You sound like you miss it. I don't know. It's just there's a whole half of my life where this happens every day. Weird has become so normal, it's not even weird anymore. Honestly, I like what I'm doing at the planet now. But I would be lying if I said that there weren't days when I wish I could forget about saving the world and just be a normal reporter. Uh, well, for now, how about you not stick to your day job? <laughs>